that might come to the fore here as we're going to see these scholars as you see from Bulgaria, Lithuania, Denmark, Germany, Greece and the Netherlands and there's some stories here that are going to unfold Martin. Well there certainly are some stories. So Christian Vasiliev the man with the sprint finish will he be able to unleash it he did at the Europeans last year to take the bronze medal will it be the Europeans again this year that the 31 year old will sprint through. Davidias Nerovicius, another Lithuanian in the final. He was in the quad that finished 10th, I think, in Tokyo. The 26-year-old now here. One in Pied Loco already this year. This man is on form. He won the silver medal in Zagreb behind Oli Zeidler. But he looked great on the lake. Well, what will this guy make of the water? Oli Zeidler generally tends to be a little conservative off the start. Leads by 500, but... This man rowing on Johannina, that's where he learned to row Stefanos and Tuskos, does relish the waves and the Olympic champion, former lightweight oarsman from Rio, will see this as a technical test. And there is Lennart van Leroy, 28 year old from Skull Club. Bulgaria. We've seen him row in the Dutch eight Lithuania. with one blade. Hasn't been in Denmark. The sculling for a while, he Germany, was in a double um, Greece, a couple of years ago. Now he's in the single. The Netherlands. Attention. So we're hearing that call over. And as you say, let's see how these scholars get away in what will be quite tricky conditions in the first 500. Well, he's idler there. He's not normally the fastest away, but he's nicely up and into his rhythm. I'm sure he'll feel pleased to be coming up here towards about 10 strokes. You can see those little wakes just hitting the scholars but as it is, a fairly solid starts right across the field. Christian Vasiliev, if he's in contention with 500 to go, watch out. But uh, Antuskos has really taken it out. Oli Zeidler, well, his bows are going to hit the front soon. Van Leroy, the Dutchman, on the right of your picture, perhaps the early leader. Vasiliev showing well. Sveri Nielsen yet to show as we go and look at the world champion. Well, we see the world champion there, yeah, Oli Zeidler, and he's looking, as he looks there, pretty good, despite the fact it might be a bit wavy. He's loose enough, he's relaxed enough. He rows that stroke, which he's so big he gets away with rowing. It doesn't look super long, it's sort of three-quarter length on the slide, but it works for him. He's strong enough and powerful enough for it, and I think in his tailwind, it, it might even suit him. Surprise is Ferry Nielsen being at the back of the field at the moment, Greg, after his performance in the heat and the semi-final. The, the man from the Faroe Islands looked really, really impressive, but he's got a lot to make up on Zeidler, and he will, I guess, hope that the sculler like Zeidler has trouble through the water. And this is going to be uh, the test of the metal. If Zeidler can win in these conditions, he can win in anything, can't he? Yeah, I think that's absolutely true. That's a good way of looking at it, that this is a kind of test for him as he gets more and more comfortable in different conditions. And Tuskus there, who we saw so surprisingly, really in the Tokyo Olympics in difficult conditions coming through. And he'll probably hope it's going to get wave in, it's going to get uncomfortable in this middle thousand, and that will play to his strengths. That's what his coach Gianni, Gianni Postiglioni, has said to him, you know, this could be your day, Stefanos, again. Rough water, you know, test out Oli's idler. We know how good you are. He's up at a high rate of striking, the Olympic champion. What sensational that he won in Tokyo. The most amazing performance he put in in that to win the semi-final. And I didn't think he could reproduce it in the Tokyo final, but he did. Unforgettable goal for Greece. What has Antuskas got in this race? In second place now. Well, this is fantastic. This is what we want. Single sculling races with athletes side by side like this. More or less bad ball for bad ball. Oli Zeidler is at a lower stroke rate than we might normally see him at. He's trying out 35 strokes a minute, and he's just sitting there. I'm imagining he's in control, actually, here. I'm imagining he's thinking, OK, I'm going to do enough to keep myself at the head of the field where I need to be. And then when I know I need it, I can put the afterburners on. I can put the power on. My read of this is that Oli Zeidler's in charge here. Yeah, <clears throat> that's a great shout, Greg. He does look relaxed, and then Tuskus is gunning for him. He's just ready to pick up any pieces. I think it's a great skull from Antuskas, stronger than the semi-final. And Van Leroy, what is his pal doing up there? 
The man who took a silver medal last year at the World Championships in the Dutch eights has now come out, the man from the Skull Club, and he is overlapping Antiscus and Zeidler at 1,000 metres. Yeah, fantastic skull from the Dutchman on this side in lane six. But uh, let's see how it goes in the second thousand. This is where it gets difficult. You can see those waves along the side of the boat. Again, it's my my read of it is that I think Oli Zeidler is still in charge here. He's staying calm. He's trying to probably stay relaxed, keep the lactic acid out of those forearms, and just thinking, I've just got to keep the boat going over the top of these conditions, as it is in Tuscus there. The bow is just pressing in front. I'm not in his head, so I'm making this up. But I'm thinking that Zeidler is still in charge here. Well, I remember that sprint Oli Zeidler pulled out of his back pocket to win the 2019 World Championships on the lake in Linz, Greg. It was phenomenal, and he always backs himself in the sprint. For Van Leroy, you know, he's been on that altitude training camp, that lake where there's maybe swells like this. He's perhaps used to it, and he's in third place. In fourth place, it's Ferry Nielsen just moving through. Expect him to do something in the last 750. He's pressed by Nemrovicius and Vasiliev who has got that sprint on the far side. There's Ferry Nielsen. What do you reckon to his chances, Greg? Well, again, fantastic skull here. Ferry Nielsen, he's not out of this. He's only back there, what, in 10 metres. He's still pushing his way in. The crowd are going wild here. It's in Tuscus getting in front. Skull of his life as well from this Dutch sculler in front of us. I've had my read, which is that I think Oli Zeidler has more up his sleeve, and when he needs it, he will might be able to go. He's still at 30... 33 strokes a minute now so much lower rate than we'd normally see him at again i could be completely wrong i'm imagining he might be able to go when he wants to but let's see greg searle bronze medal in 1997 in the single skulls he knows what he's talking about and tuscus goes through the 500 meter to go mark in front just a couple of meter lead over ollie zeidler leroy in there but uh, Sveri Nielsen from the Denmark, the Faroe Islander, on the charge. Leroy on the charge. What a great shot that is, those three scholars, Greg. Look at Leroy go. Look at Leroy go. Good for him. Look that at is. it in this last 500. You often think people on the sidelines make a charge for it early and can't hang in there. But he has now got that bow in front with only 350 metres to go. If, as I'm imagining, Zeidler has something, he's going to need it pretty soon. You can move a single skull a long way in a short distance. But if he's saving something, I really think he's going to need it. Any minute now, they're going to hit those red boys. I'm looking out. I can't quite see them out of the window, so there's still a bit to go in this race. Van Leroy you can see him in orange on the lead. He is going crazy. And Tuskus is going crazy too. Oli Zeidler can't quite find the sprint finish. Let's see what he's got in his back pocket. It is Leroy leading into the finish bowl by two thirds of a length, Greg. Here we go. The Dutch sculler here, Van Leroy. This fantastic skull from him. He is now half a length up. If Oli Zeidler was going to do something, he'd be doing it now. So I can't help thinking I've read this wrong. We're coming down just about 100 metres to go. The Dutch sculler, skull of his life. And Tuskus in silver. Zeidler still hasn't made the big move I was expecting to see. Yes, for Nielsen closing up in fourth place, but it's all about Leonard Van Leroy. He has seized his chance. This is a magical skull from the Dutchman. Melvin Tweller from the Netherlands seized his chance to win the Europeans last year. Another Dutch name will be on the European title. It is Leonard Van Leroy. He takes the gold and just because it's silver. Zeidler has to sell for bronze. Ferry Nielsen and uh, the Bulgarian Vasiliev very close for fifth place. Nemrovicius in six. Oh, can you believe it? Take a bow, <laughs> Leonard Van Leerop. What a skull he has produced there. Like you said, he was in the eighth that got the silver medal last year. Now he's the European champion. He's just finished head of the Olympic champion and the world champion in the single skull. Stephanos Antuskas, a good skull from him. He was doing what he wanted to do. He'll be pleased that he did what he thought he needed to. Get in front of this man, Oli Zeidler. Who'd have thought the Dutch sculler would have been there? Wow, what a race. Well, Oli's on his odyssey to do three World Cups, the Europeans and Henley, and uh, he will see this as a little blip. It was always going to be a challenging regatta for Oli Zeidler yeah. coming into this because the conditions are difficult. Um, and to say you're going to win every race and you're not going to keep peaking every three weeks is difficult. So who knows how he's prepared for it. I did think he was lower in his stroke rate. Mm. He, he had a very different approach to what we saw him doing in Zagreb. And um, like you say, a big learning one for him. I'm going to pass the uh, headphones over to Imogen Grant and we'll see what her read is on the situation.
Greg. Oh my goodness, what a race. I think that was a perfect example of just racing the race that you're in. Um, off the start, everyone was pretty level, but you could just see that Zeidler and Tuskus were really leading it out and Europe was man able to just, just track them and just hang in there. They will be cracking open the Amstel beers now in Amsterdam. The Skull Club in Amsterdam will be dancing up and down going mad. We didn't see the Dutch swimmers, or I didn't see them in the water that greeted Melvin Tuella when he won the European Championship gold last. Um, come back from the women's pairs and the Dutch team, such a unified entity, the women and the men train together now. And uh, you can see what it means to the whole team.